Hi, I'm Thorsten from Tier Systems and in this video I want to show you my 5 favorite features in Photomate to improve your workflow. So the first feature I want to show you is about viewing and editing of images. When you usually tap on one image in your gallery, it will load the sidebar. Uh, some people like it, but I personally prefer to directly select uh, to develop or open this image in full screen. So you can change this behavior by going to the preferences, choose gallery settings and first you say skip sidebar so you won't see the sidebar here and then you can set the default preview method. So you can choose between full screen, developing or the quick view. I personally prefer to always ask so I always can choose which one I want to take. So when I go back and now switch, let's say, the same image, I can now also open the sidebar, but I can also go directly to developing, uh, for instance. So this makes it very easy if I want to edit or open uh, some files in my gallery. So the next feature I want to show you is about the ratings. Uh, usually you won't see ratings here in this view, but you can also change this by going to the preferences again, going to the gallery settings and then say show ratings. If you use labels you can also enable the labels as well. I usually prefer ratings so I don't need it. And when you now scroll you will see somewhere popping up the stars hopefully. I have some here in this folder. Um, Okay, let's simply rate one of these. Just using the sidebar, let's give them maybe a 4 star, then let's refresh. And now you can see there are my 4 stars visible. Uh, usually I do some rating, but it seems like I already had have deleted all the images here. Okay, so the next thing is about the editing and developing of a bunch of raw files. Uh, let's assume you want to develop this raw files here. When you go to develop you will uh, notice that over, uh, every time you change or switch the image it usually takes a long time until the final image is ready. When you have just imported your images you can go to the develop in this folder and go to the more options here and then you can say generate previews. So, this will take some time. In my case it doesn't take much time because I already did it before. But when you do this it will take a couple of seconds for each image. But after that you can simply edit each image pretty quickly so you can directly switch to them. And you don't always need to reload all these files which make the editing workflow much faster than before. So. The next trick I want to show you is um, in the export settings you should really consider to make yourself um, an export preset. For example I have one for uh, Google and I can just say start and I don't need to set all of these settings like my uh, output quality and so on. I can simply uh, set this in my preset and then I just go to save export preset set the name of this preset, for example Google or full size JPEG if you want to save them for, for your hard drive. So this makes it very easy if you want to um, edit your, your files and export them to social media. Okay, so yeah. The last thing I want to show you is um, the stacking. Almost nobody knows about this feature but it's pretty cool and it's still in beta but you can already try it. For example if you have um, some images where you have taken for example let's take these um, uh, HDR images here so you can just go to multi-select go or select these three images 
then go to more and say stack images and now I can choose the mode for example which I uh, usually um, also use is the average which reduces the noise if you have the same uh, image captured uh, two or, or multiple times then you have the add this will basically add all the pixels together and making a brighter image and you have the light compression which is useful for HDR processing um, it basically means that it will take um, all the bright areas from the underexposed files and the dark areas from the overexposed files and then you can also say auto align images um, it works okay but it de really depends on the type of image so for some images it works pretty well in other cases um, you, you, you may will encounter some uh, disalignment you just have to try it out so I'm now going to start here and now it's opening all the images, uh, images, aligning all these images and finally I will get um, a compressed image or a, basically a, um, a stacked image from these selected files. Um, of course you have to make sure that all of these files are uh, from the same width and height otherwise uh, it will cut off some of these. Um, so okay usually this shouldn't be a problem because um, when you do such images um, they should be all from the same camera yeah so that's that um, I hope you find some of these tips very useful and if you've got questions feel free to ask them and yeah have fun try, uh, playing around with these features bye